being chased out left. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Oh, it's dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. We know they have these RPOs in their playbook, and look, we're seeing it here in the first quarter. You think we're going to see it as the game continues? They trotted him out early for a reason, partner. They're letting them know that this is in the arsenal, and we rely on it. You better be prepared because this is going to be an all-day affair trying to stop them. From the two, here's first and goal. Throwing his hurts. Steps away to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Uh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score so Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. throw Browning short throw to Smith and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup we'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive and based on our time with them you know prior to this game I feel like they've got a good mindset going in in fact the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick that first down. And you tend to start them out when you do that. Like so we probably had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Browning. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. Now inside the 25. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. from scoreless to 13 nothing in a hurry first their offense had the touchdown and now the defense comes through with one you can't get a better one-two punch than that off a touchdown offense by getting one on defense if they keep that effort up you'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly elliott good on the extra point and it's now 14 to nothing Get another 
first shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and three. Now it's Burrow. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed, and then some, and made that snap. A huge success. Now Burrow on first down. Short throw to Smith. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much go, needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Burrow getting this into the hands of Higgins. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Go. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow on the move to his left. but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, all that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. As they go to work on a first and goal. Burrow will throw. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have cut it back within a score. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert.
assert its will over the other. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. He'll get it up near midfield at 49 before being taken down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Forced out to his left. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Right back to Swift again on second down. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Here is third down and four. Here's Hurts to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. The kick by Elliott is good. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Bengals drive about to get going. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, but the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Here we go, here so the we go. line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Bull. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Gun, gun. Cut. And they go play action now. Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals have got it back to within a score. 
in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved down to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as the tackle made up near the 35. Hurts sets up to throw it. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. From the gun, it's Hurts. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a the throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering, and now this defense has to try to protect go, that go. lead going into the locker room. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now it's Burrow. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step go. towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? Here we go. I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that approach just dropped a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. Incompletions on their first two throws. Here goes a huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get the momentum going again. On third down, Burrow. That is going to go down. Back at the 27 yard line, he sacked. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. McPherson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Right back to Swift again on second down. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. 
Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Hurts. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Chidabe Aluzier with a pick. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Tight end, Irv Smith, the intended receiver. Third down here. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Here's Burrow. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he will in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. McPherson's kick is good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime, Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them, not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On second down, Swift. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 61 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I can say this from experience, especially from a defensive back's perspective. There's not many things more terrifying than a toss sweep or a pitch play and all that beef out in front of the runner. Yeah, I had an old coach say three words on those plays, toss or pitch. Set the edge, heard him over and over. A lot of times they roll the edge, and when they do that, that's why you can go for a long way. First down, and they go with Swift again. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll 
take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have retaken a third-quarter lead. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT. And it will make this a four-point game. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Well, now how about this return? And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> right they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Three corners in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. But my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. Here we go, here we go. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. He's got it to the 43 here. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Burrow looking to pass. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. Go. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. takes this one back into the end zone and the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction 